is our first one where the price was looking. One for EMS for the paramedics, and another one for police car. But this is completely outfitted for everything other than a prisoner. Yeah, the model Y will have room for a prisoner too. Oh wait, you can't, you can't put the prisoner up here? No, no, you can't put him up there. <laughs> I don't use the car often, I'll be honest. That's so. awesome. So you can you guys be able to essentially track where the car is just like you would Oh we do that now, yeah. Yeah. How's the battery We we are getting two eight hour shifts back to back. Oh wow. Okay. Without charging. Without charging. How many miles do you have on the radio? Oh somewhere in the thirteen thousand? So full radio system, the antennas are all built into the frame of the car, so there's nothing sticking out in the car. This is subtle. So now when you, the, the cool thing is like through your uh, electronics, so you see the lights right now, the minute I put it in drive, all the lights go faster. There's a driving mode and a stop mode. The only problem we're trying to navigate through, and Tesla's been great about it, when you get out of the car, the headlights shut off after 45 seconds. We need them to stay out. So they're recoding that for us currently for us to be able to do on the reprogram. How about a siren? It's got the siren. Everything. Okay. Sirens are under the front. Uh, it's got, and I'll show you. It's got. Full equipment. It's got a storage for a pistol, storage for a rifle. A regular patrol rifle goes in here. So in the back, yep. and then the beauty of it is that we have found is obviously that you guys are well of the feature, but most other people would not be. All the medical equipment in the front of the car. Okay. So the beauty of it is, anytime you have medical equipment and you got to send somebody back to get something, you don't have to unlock the car and give them access to weapons or right. stop sticks or everything like that. Just pop the front and it's open. They can go and get their, their equipment right out of the front. Cool. Actually, when, when did you guys get this? We did. When did you start using this? Again? Uh, this is a little bit over a year. We lost, we lost a lot of the study time because okay. of COVID. Sure. So, so how many miles have you put on? 13,000. Okay. It would have been, we would expect it to be around 20. Okay. But traffic and came yep. down to a complete stop. I mean, we just weren't sure. doing it. Sure. You pull people over speeding in this. That's all primarily what he was doing. Right. Aggressive driving, and, and distracted driving. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've had a couple yeah, yeah. funny stories of car chases, which we really don't chase cars anymore. But in the middle of the night up on the highway, you know, the guy's going 60, 65, yeah. the police goes trying to catch up, and this just pulls right next to them. They look over and turn the lights on. It's a pretty funny story. Yeah, I can imagine. Do you have any preliminary numbers or at least break even? Or Oh, we're way ahead of break yeah, even. No, no, no. We're more than double what we expected to be at. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. And I think uh, your regular vehicle is something like 10 miles per gallon because they're just idling a lot of the yeah, time, Yeah, 10 right? to 11 miles a gallon is what we're getting. Uh, for the 13,000 miles, we think we've spent under $600 on electric. Wow. I'm at 38,000 there, so two years. That's a 2019 or 2020 model year, do you know? Uh, I think we bought a 19, but it's a 2020. Yep, okay, yep, right at the end there. Set it up around the car. The Six feet, everybody away from the car. Thank you very much. Yep, you're welcome.